Hello again. This is a video on how to use all of the picklist features in the listing manager. The picklist tab allows you to easily see all items that need to be pulled off the floor to fulfill existing orders. This tool also allows you to flag the items as unsellable so that the orders don't accidentally get completed without figuring out what to do with any unsellable items. Here is how to print the picklist from the picklist tab. You can print a copy of the pick list to take with you to the floor to help you find the items that you need to pull. Step 1. Make sure you are in the Listing Manager and navigate to the pick list tab. Step 2. Select the location of the orders you want to work with from the location dropdown. Step 3. Click the Print button. Step 4. If you do not want to use the default Windows printer, Select the printer you want to print from and then click the OK button. Step 5. Here is a sample of what the pick list will look like. Here is how to pick items in the pick list tab. When you have grabbed the item off the floor, you can right click on the item and then click Pick Selected. You can also multi select items to be picked by using either Ctrl plus left click, or if the items are close together, you can also use Shift plus left click. Then right click on the last item you selected and click Pick Selected. You can also scan the item barcode off of the items you pulled to quickly confirm you have the right item and to mark the item as picked. Back on the Orders tab, you will notice the item color indicator is no longer yellow. This indicates that the order has been picked. Note Items do not have to be picked to be able to complete their corresponding order. The only order you cannot complete is an order that has unsellable items. These orders have a red indicator next to them on the Orders tab. Here's how to view item details from within the Pick List tab. Step 1. Right-click on the item you want to view the item details on, and then click View Item. Step 2. You can view the details of the item like process date, price, item name, description, order information, and client transactions. This can help you make sure you are picking the right item. Now, we move on to how to flag items from the Pick List tab. There may be a situation where you either cannot find an item on the floor due to it being missing, or it's sold in store by accident before it could have been taken off the floor. In these situations, you will want to flag the item so that the order does not get accidentally completed before the unsellable item situation is handled. Step 1. Right click on the item you could not find or confirm as missing, and then click Flag Item. Step 2. You will get a prompt asking you are you sure that you want to mark the selected items as flagged? Click the Yes button. Step 3. You can now go back to the Orders tab and select the order to see a red item indicator. If you look at the items area at the bottom, you can see the item or items that were flagged as unsellable. We can also create pick bins for sorting picked items. Here is how. Pick bins can help sort out the inventory you pick to ensure that all items that are part of a package slash order can be fulfilled easily and properly. Step 1. Click on the Settings menu option at the top and then click on Maintain Pick Bins. Step 2. Click the Add button. Step 3. For the description, type what you would like to name the bin. If you have multiple stores, you can set the location to the actual location of your store. Otherwise, you can just leave location blank. Step 4. Click the OK button. Now we can sort items into the pick bin. Step 1. You can left click to select an item or multiple items using the multi select method from the pick list tab. Step 2. Under the pick bin drop down, select which pick bin you would like to use. Note, the pick bins that are visible to you in this list are the ones that have been set to your terminal's current location. If you do not have multiple locations, then you will be able to see all pick bins. Step 3. Click the Pick Selected button to pick the items into the selected pick bin. Alternatively, you can scan the item barcode into the item barcode field to pick the item into the pick bin. This was a video on how to use the pick list features in the listing manager.